During a recent trip to India, visiting his friend Krishna G, Tony Robbins had an epiphany about suffering and how our emotional lives can be divided into moments of pain or beauty. Tony believes we must tend to our suffering immediately. So there's either suffering or beauty. You're either living in that space of suffering. Yeah, and beauty. suffering might be stress, frustration, overwhelm, and beauty could be happiness. But you're not happy every moment. It might be creative. It might be driven. It might be hungry. It might be playful. It might be grateful. But if you're in beautiful states, you do what's right automatically. Absolutely. When you're in a suffering state, you struggle. And so suffering is everything that it. Is. So suffering is like fear. It's like being in the state of being afraid. Fear is an example of suffering. It's it's one of the core suffering states, right? Yeah. The fear of loss. Yeah. The fear of less. The fear of never. Okay. So how do I, regardless of my suffering, is I don't think that I'm going to have the job that I want, ultimately the life that I want. How do I end that? That's the most important question of all. Yeah. <laughs> so the answer to that question sounds overly simplistic. But if I asked you what changed your life at various stages, and ultimately it was a decision, a decision where you wouldn't tolerate something anymore, the way you, someone treated you, the way you treated yourself. And so if you look at the decisions we make, who you're going to spend time with is one of the most important decisions of all. It determines who we become. We become who we spend time with. Who you're going to love, gigantic. But I can't control what's going to happen to your lover or your husband or your wife or your children. You can't either. There are things beyond our controls. Yeah. I can't control what's going to happen to your finances. What I can help you control is the one thing you can control, not the outside world, and that's your inside world. Yeah. The most important decision is to end suffering. Yes. If you decide you're going to end it, it doesn't mean you won't feel it again. Yeah. It just means when it comes up, you let go of it immediately. And the way you let go of it is you recognize what's going on. I've always said the most, you know, the most selfish person is someone who commits suicide because they can't think about anybody but themselves. To be depressed, mm -hmm. you have to be focused on yourself. So suffering comes from excessive obsession with yourself and some sense of loss less than ever. So when you see that, you can go, wow, what am I, what am I having the illusion of loss about right now? What am I thinking I'm going to have less of right now? What am I perceiving as less of my life? Or I'll never have, because it's an illusion. And if you, all you have to do to shift from that is first you have to make the decision that says, this is how I live. We all get what we tolerate. So we if you all look, get what we tolerate. Yeah, in relationships, in ourselves, Absolutely. in our businesses, in our bodies, in okay. our lives. And so you have to step Tweetable up and say. moment. We all get what we tolerate. <laughs> That's true.